Hi everybody, we are sitting here with Larry DiMarzio. That is such an honor. I'm, I'm very happy, thank you thank for your time. You. Thank you for your kindness. Hello to all my friends at Toman. I appreciate everything that you've done for us. Thank you, it's very kind. Well, it's, um, it's our pleasure. Um, the obvious question is of course, What's new for 2018? Everybody's asking you probably, but you know, that's what people are most, most interested in. This year we made uh, some electronics um, for Paul Gilbert. I, I like to work directly with artists, you know, myself and the DiMarzio team. And uh, this year one of the products is the new Ibanez guitar with uh, Paul Gilbert. And Paul wanted to use mini humbuckers uh, on this project. So um, we have a video out that I can give you a video link to as well. And um, mini humbuckers, Paul wanted that kind of cross between a full-size humbucker and a Stratocaster. And you know, my feeling is, you know, Paul's got such good sensibility of, of what he wants from the guitar. So the DiMarzio team, off camera, Eric, thank you for working on the pickup. Uh, and, uh, and we fine-tuned it and got it to the point where Paul likes it. And it's now in the new guitar. Moving right along, we also did a similar project with Ibanez uh, with Joe Satriani, and that'll be the Saturate Humbucker. Um, Joe's had these out on the road maybe for a year uh, before we decided to release them officially. And, you know, again, it gives us the opportunity to fine-tune uh, Joe's sound. It's also on the, all of the new recordings and on, he's out on tour, so the entire tour uh, that's on the road right now with John Petrucci uh, and Phil Cullen. Uh, Phil Cullen says it's DiMarzio heaven. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, actually, it is. How would you describe this Saturate um, or compare it to the Fred, which is very well known, uh, such as you know, main pickup forever now. You know, Joe wanted to go more in the same direction because when you're dealing with an artist like Joe, there's a singing quality that, that he has always had to his playing. And, you know, our job is to, you know, again, he says what, you know, what he, the direction he wants us to go in. And then we refine the materials and, you know, and, and, and develop our own approach and introduce new things that we may have been experimenting with. So again, we, we wanted to work on an Alnico 8 pickup, oh, maybe four years ago. And I got very busy, so it, it got delayed. And then when Joe wanted a new pickup, we started out with the Alnico 8 as the engine. It is. I'll yeah. It is. So yeah, yeah, saturate. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. Yeah, and just like PG-13. Paul Gilbert, 13, you know, rated for 13-year-olds. <laughs> oh, great. One of the other new products we worked on this year um, was a project with Nita Strauss. And Nita, um, we wanted to do something special. Nita's been a good friend for a long time. So we took Nita's logo and we incorporated it into the pickup cover. Very fancy, yeah. And we're not sure, the, um, we did a gold version as well. Nita hasn't seen it yet, but soon. Oh, wait. She saw this one only. And this is called the Pandemonium. And this is what's going to be in her Ibanez guitar. And, you know, part of what DiMarzio does is we develop new things. Of course, we still have vintage product line. But, you know, my thinking ever since I got into the idea of making pickups was do something new, you know. I mean, the super distortion must be on more hit records, you know, than almost anything, you know. So, you know, it's, it's an idea of continuing the growth and the development of the electric guitar, which is part of my passion, you know. And then, you know, some of the new projects like working with Mike, you know, it's fabulous because the first time that Mike came, I'd heard Mike play, and Mike came to Montana, and then we recorded video and, and you know, did photographs together. And I was like, I never thought of doing any of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 
I guess normally off-the-shelf acoustic guitars come with a, a piezo pickup or something like that, and, uh, and we have one with Damasio called the Black Angel, which I've been using on the road professionally for the past couple of years now, uh, with sort of solo instrumental music and with um, Justin Hayward from the Moody Blues uh, all over the place. Now, the piezo by itself is a very high-quality system that Damasio have made here. This is how it sounds completely flat, so this is just the piezo by itself. And as you can hear, It's a very warm, very full sound. Now, warmth is, is something that I'm a big fan of, especially playing with fingernails, um, and especially at volume, you want to maintain that warmth and maintain that, that bass element with acoustic guitar music. And straight out of the box, for me, flat, this is all I really need for the piezo. Exactly, very, very simple to install as well. But you mentioned I do some quite weird things with pickups, so I do have another pickup in the guitar. I have a few, actually. Um, but the main sound source I have is the combination of that piezo and this pickup right here. Now this is um, also called the Black Angel by Damasio. This is the Black Angel magnetic pickup, uh, which Larry and myself actually kind of worked on a few years ago to develop. Uh, and this is uh, our sort of brainchild of a passive, um, a passive magnetic pickup, so no, pa no battery necessary, with a phase switch built into it. Okay, so if I add the magnetic pickup to the mix, you can hear that already the sound is much fatter, okay, much bigger. Now, by adding multiple sound systems uh, or multiple pickup systems to a guitar, you don't necessarily fatten the sound because we can run into phase cancellation where some of the frequencies get lost. Now, if I put this straight into my guitar like this, combined it with the piezo, it would sound just like this, which sounds fine. But if I flick the phase switch, how much difference that makes is actually ridiculous. And it's amazing that, that um, I guess, no other magnetic pickup comes with this. I'll just show you that difference one more time. This is uh, with the phase switch in uh, the uh, right position. Switching to left. Hear how much of that sound is just lost through phase cancellation. Now the vast majority of people, if they put a pickup in the guitar, they won't really think about this stuff. But something as simple as a little switch to invert the phase makes that much difference. It's crazy. So the main, the vast majority of my guitar sound is just that, the piezo and the magnetic, and that's... That's what that sounds like, okay. Additionally, I do have a microphone for a little bit of the percussion, but without the microphone even, the microphone wasn't even on there. Okay. The piezo and the magnetic right there by Damasio. Black Angel Magnetic, Black Angel Piezo. I've been using them on the road for, again, the past two years. And um, yeah, it's been an honor to work with this dude, this off-camera dude, Larry Damasio, the king himself. Yeah, and, and but you know, but to me, that's what's exciting. You know, I, I find the older I get, the more I realize, the less I know. You know, and, and being around, you know, younger people with new ideas and new approaches. I mean, I, in honesty, I don't think Leo Fender ever imagined what Jimi Hendrix would do to a Stratocaster, you know. And, and I like the idea of keeping our thinking in a, you know, in an interesting, you know, free developing way. A little bit thinking out of the box is what's going on. I have with no with choice, him. you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's always out of the box. Yeah. You, know. but you were you were not doing acoustic pickups for a long time, we, and we, and then it just we, took off. We've done acoustic. We had done acoustic pickups over the years, and I thought that we needed to kind of rethink a lot of what we were doing. Uh, and for example, um, I started building acoustic guitars as a hobby and I really enjoyed making guitars. I've now built four guitars. No one, no one has to worry, I'm not gonna be a guitar builder. <laughs> it takes two weeks for me to do a fret job. <laughs> but when it's done, it's very good, you know? Well, that's, that's what matters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I have a friend that um, left the Gibson company about 10 years ago, Kevin Kopp, and we build guitars there. And the more I worked on the guitars, the more I wanted to get the acoustic guitar to be more of a natural sound. And then uh, we had worked on the Black Angel, uh, the original Angel. And then when I met Mike, Mike said, you know, well, what about putting a phase switch in? And I was like, well, is, that's a really good idea. And then we built that first pickup for him, and then he came and you know visited us in Montana. And then we actually introduced the piezo it was in work, but I finished the piezo because Mike needed a piezo for the guitar. 
And the idea that we have is we have an array of piezo elements, so they sit inside a little maple block. Oh, okay. Because while I was building guitars, I realized it would be better to go maple to maple and use wood glue, I use a hide glue to, to do the, uh, the connection. And so everything just keeps on being a process of experiment, failure, and uh, fi fix the problem, you know. I failed five times today. <laughs> next time, yeah, next week I'll fail three times in a day, you know. But it's always going back in and making adjustments and correction. And, you know, with this, this was great. Um, maybe it's easier to see on this one. We made the cover. <clears throat> And the first thing that I thought about was, you know, we started out with Nita's logo. And last year we did the John Petrucci model, which was based on the album cover art. And we also did the Steve Vai version. And I wanted to do things that made the guitar stand out. Yeah. You know, I want the guitar and what you are doing to be visible from a distance, you know. And going into the pickups and, you know, experimenting with these ideas was very much what we wanted to do. So we took Nita's logo and my friend Mike Mesker, uh, our art director, um, we came up with this shape. We made the first cover. We sent the prototype to Ibanez. They got very upset because they were afraid someone would cut themselves on the sharp parts. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so we have to modify. So I was experimenting um, with some recording equipment and some old ribbon microphones. And I'm looking at the grill on the ribbon microphone and thinking, wow, I really should incorporate that. So we show Nita the sample, and Nita says, oh, wow, I really like that. It looks like stockings. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, you know, everything takes on a life of its own, you know? Very interesting. So um, the main thing that keeps you motivated and, and um, inspired are artists probably, right? Absolutely, and you know, a commitment to the guitar and music. I'm now learning Ableton. Oh. Yeah, because I'm, I'm fascinated by what you can do in the computer. I've now learned, in the last two years, I've learned to record as well as shoot photographs and shoot video. So, I have a, I have a big home system. <laughs> well, maybe one day we can check it out. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I absolutely have to, I mean, it's incredible. We arrived here, maybe, maybe it's interesting for you guys as well. These guys, Larry, this hospitality, it's overwhelming really. So I'm very happy. Thank you for having us. Oh, I wish, well. wish you, the, you know, all the best and a, an awesome NAMM show and, um, and a beautiful year. Thank you very much. If you let me know if you're going to come to Montana to visit Gibson, because I live only like four miles from the Gibson factory oh, wow. in, in Bozeman. Yeah. Right, right. We'll do it definitely. And pizza in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Larry. Thank Have an awesome you. day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye, guys. Bye -bye. Um, Thanks for listening. <laughs>